Hello, everybody. No, you see when I do this, like you can't see my eyes. Like it's flashing my glasses. Hello. Hello. Hey, shady baby, I'm hot. Like the prodigal sun. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Unapologetic Skincare and Beauty and I am Stephanie. So today we're doing my October new makeup purchaser pass anti-haul basically. It's, it ends up being an anti-haul. I mean, there's like stuff I want to buy, but I usually just end up complaining about all the stuff I don't want to buy. Let's get started. I'm in a weird mood. I'm so sorry. Okay. So first of all, let me just start off by saying that uh, these holiday collections that are coming out, I'm not super here for them, all of them at least. I don't like seeing things about Christmas in October. I'm still fall focused, I'm still Halloween focused, and it overwhelms me, but that's just me. Let me say that I read on Trend Mood that the ABH Amrezy highlighter is coming back, and I'm so happy because it's the one highlighter that I've really always wanted to try and you know never got around to it so it, there is well it's a rumor she says there's a rumor that it's coming back and it would be $28 so super excited let's all pray so I'm gonna start with my favorite thing to talk about which is makeup collections that look like they're made for teenage girls or preteen girls that are supposed to be targeted to a 20 something, 30 something market. You know, the people who have money and are able to buy makeup that's high end and expensive, it's targeted towards people that are 10 years younger than that, who can't buy it because they don't have money because they're still in high school. So let's talk about the Lime Crime 10th birthday collection. I love it when makeup brands come out with these unicorny, literally corny, it's corny, these collections because I get to talk about them and make fun of them and that's my favorite ever thing to do. So this collection basically has unicorns and rainbows all over the packaging. It's plastic, it's a bright pink, and it's horrible. I don't like it. And first of all, I think Lime Crime's a problematic beauty company and brand to begin with. They've had some issues in the past and I think that they're way overpriced and I think that they're not really like a super honest upfront company about what goes on behind the scenes at their company. But that's just my opinion on Lime Crime in general. I don't like this collection. I don't like anything about it. I would never purchase it. There's a train case, which is $38, and a train case is basically like a little suitcase, and you're supposed to put your makeup in it, I guess. But it's $38, and it's like holographic, and blue, and pink, and shiny, and not cute, and I would not pay $38 for it. And then there's a brush set. It's a four piece brush set for $38. And once again, we talked about this last month with the um, ice cream collection that came out. I can't even remember, it came out um, in September, an ice cream collection, but they had the brushes with the clear plastic handles and they had like colorful sprinkles in them. And I said, I thought that looked cheap and I still do think it looks cheap. And even when Lime Crime does it, it looks cheap. They had this four piece brush set for $38 and they're clear plastic candles with like, I think sparkles in them? Star confetti? It's so cheap looking, you're charging $38 for it. Then there's a pin set for $18, so I think it's like four pins, three pins, three pins for $18. Um, and it's like a rose pin, a heart that says lime crime, and then unicorn hair. Is there a thing going on with pins that I don't know about? Like, is this trendy? Is this in where people buy pins? Because I always see companies releasing pins, and I'm just like, what am I doing with these pins? Where am I putting these pins? I'm not wearing the pins. They're not going in, like, my knapsack as I travel around the world. I don't understand what I'm doing with these pins. Why do people sell them? Diamond Dew in the color Confetti, which is a rainbow iridescent, and that's $20. And I assume Diamond Dew looks like kind of a glow drop thing. The 10th Birthday Palette, which is $44. It looks like, to me, it looks like the Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette, the colors, and the way that, just the way the pans are set up. I don't know. It does look like that to me, but... I don't want it. I don't want it. They're just bright colors. They look like to be all shimmers to me. And um, no. Mm -mm. Don't want that. 
10th birthday unicorn lipsticks are $18 each. And then the pocket candy eyeshadow palette and birthday cake, and that's $34. So it bothers me because, first of all, this pocket eyeshadow candy thing palette, it looks like a Polly Pocket. I don't know if anybody remembers Polly Pockets. I'll post a picture, but it looks like a Polly Pocket holder. It's plastic, and it's like this iridescent, white, cheap-looking thing, like Walmart kids makeup. Not even Claire's kids makeup, like Walmart kids makeup. And there's five shades in there, and they're charging 30, what, $34? So they've got their other palette, which is $38, which has um, one, two, three, four, eight, twelve 12 shades. So they're charging $38 for 12 shades, but then they turn around with the pocket one and they're charging $34 for five. I don't get it, and no. Lime Crime, to me, it's a miss. Uh, I'm still waiting for Lime Crime to come out with something that I'm excited about and I like or that I'll buy or that isn't vastly overpriced, but I don't think it's gonna happen, so let's move on. So, Wet n Wild is bringing us more affordable brushes. It says the 10-piece Pro brush set for the holidays, limited edition, $30. It's a pro level set that includes contour, powder, blending, highlighting, and eye brushes. And I'm gonna get these, like, I'm gonna get these. Wet n Wild makes good brushes, guys. I just talked about their um, highlighting and bronzing brush in one of my drugstore videos. I'll put the link here if you want. It was from the Game of Thrones collection, and their brushes are really good, and they're not expensive. Like, they're good brushes, and these are really pretty. I like the way they kind of have a cool handle that looks almost like the Actually, I have them right here. It looks kind of like this, but they're all silver with white brush tops, and there's like a notch at the top, I think, for your fingers, so it looks really cool. I'm definitely gonna get these 30 bucks for all of them. Not bad at all, and I love Wet n Wild, and they're pretty. So those are gonna be under my Christmas tree. <laughs> So Violet Voss is going to be releasing on October 25th four like mini or smaller palettes and they look really beautiful. So there's one called Creme Brulee, there's one called Le Macaron, there's one called Berry Burst and there's one called Fruit Sorbet and I'm really here for the Creme Brulee one and also the Berry Burst one. Even the Macaron one, man, those are all pretty. They look great. The creme brulee one is just a mix of really pretty like neutrals, browns, bronzes, golds, some shimmers, some mattes. There's a really nice orange one in there that pops. And I'm kind of interested in it. I don't own a Violet Voss palette and I've never used one, but I hear they're very, very good. So I would be interested in at least trying one. I wish I could figure out how much they were. It doesn't say on Trend Mood. And I looked online and I couldn't get an indication, but I'm sure it's out there. If you guys know, throw it in the comments so that I know how much I'm gonna be paying when I buy at least one or two of them. Oh my God. So let's talk about how every anti-haul, I talk about Kylie Cosmetics and I literally don't really have anything ever nice to say about Kylie Cosmetics or Natasha Denona, for instance, and my opinions are not changing. I still feel the same, but Kylie Cosmetics came up with like a Halloween collection that I want. I love fall. I love Halloween. I love everything about falling leaves and hot coffee and apple cider and pumpkin picking. I love everything about it. I love everything about Halloween. I love it. Kylie came out with a Halloween collection, so I feel like Kind of this is a girl after my own heart. I love the packaging. I probably won't get the eyeshadow palette, but I love the packaging on it. It's so Halloween-like. It's She does a really good job with packaging and it's so pretty. I might get the palette. Like if it, if it gets discounted after Halloween, I'll probably grab it, but there's some pretty colors in there. I just don't really like her formulations. There's a highlighter that looks a little like yellowy holographic kind of, so probably not good for my skin tone, but it's so cool because it's got like almost like dripping slime or dripping blood, I don't know, image or effect on the highlighter. It's so cool. And then the eye toppers, I want them. Not all of them, but there's one called Witch and Famous. It's like this orange eye topper. It's like this glittery orange eye topper, so I'll definitely 100% be getting that. 100%, it looks gorgeous. Probably a couple of these lipsticks too, because there's an orange one that looks awesome, a green one that looks awesome, a kind of nudie one that looks really good, and then the liquid lip looks really good too. Lip, what's it called? Oh, my foot, like I was sitting on my foot and it 
What? I fell asleep. So four lipsticks and then two matte lip kit, bite me red. Bite me red. Is that really bite me red? It doesn't look red. So it's called, the, the liquid lip that I'm looking into, it's called Kylie Jenner Spooky Glitter Gloss. It looks so pretty and sparkly and like orange. Oh my God. Well, I'm really kind of proud of Kylie for stepping out of her normal kind of boring stuff that she does and coming out with this collection. I'm impressed and I hope she continues to kind of, you know, go out of her comfort zone and make a cute things like this that people want. Now that she's coming to Ulta, I'm really kind of excited to have more access to her stuff especially if she's gonna start stepping it up in this way so see i'm not heartless i'm not savage completely if you do something that i don't like i'm gonna say i don't like it but then if you do something that i do like i will have a different opinion of you so and i appreciate you trying i have a heart oh my god i love this packaging Ugh, i love it love it kylie did such a good job with the packaging on this halloween collection like come on my foot fell asleep. I don't like it. I don't like it. I take off my sneaker. Let's talk about Fenty Beauty really quickly. I love Fenty Beauty since Rihanna came out with her makeup line. I've supported it and I have a lot of stuff from the line even though Things like the foundation and the primer don't work for my skin because I have dry skin, but I still, you know, gave it a try and I supported her, but I do feel like it's going a little crazy. I mean, I like this. She goes out of the box and does different things that look different from everything else, but the upcoming holiday collection to me is just like too much. I don't feel like it's stuff. It is stuff I would wear, but it's not stuff I would pay that much to wear. I don't have it in me to do that. So there's a a kilowatt foil freestyle highlighter palette for $54. That's a lot for a palette in my opinion. And it looks to me like the highlighter palette to me looks like just a big ass eyeshadow palette. It's not something that I would want to use on my face. It's almost like the ABH kind of how they do the glow kits and they're like really like crazy colors. But I mean, one of these is like a dark blue. It looks like looks like an eyeshadow and I guess they say you can use them on your eye. I don't like these sort of ambiguous products like here's a palette you can use it on your eyes or your cheeks or your forehead or you can use it as a bronzer or you can use it as a blush or you can use it as body glitter. I just don't like it. It's like I like specialized things. Tell me what it's for, what it's going to be best on, what it's going to work best for and I'll buy it and then I'll use it for that and I need you to give me guidance with that. You can't just hand me a palette and say you can use it wherever you want. Go crazy. But I do love the packaging on the front. It's like sort of a, almost like a winter scene, like a crisp, you know, kind of winter forest look with really beautiful colors. So she did kill it there, but I would just never use this um, foil freestyle highlighter palette and definitely wouldn't pay $54 for it. And then there's the metallic eye and lip crayon, crayon for $39. Um, creamy metallic crayons for both eyes and lips. See, we're doing it again. Like, I don't want to ever put something on my eyes that I at one point put on my lips. Like, you shouldn't do that. Things that go in your mouth should never go near your eyes. And don't, like, give me a product that can do both because that's pink eye, like, waiting to happen. Or some other kind of, like, bacterial infection from my mouth, which is the dirtiest place on my body. Like, let's not... Yours too, Okay. Your mouth's dirty too, not just mine. Our mouths are not clean, okay? There's bacteria in there. I don't want something that went on my mouth going in my eye. $39 for that? Like, stop it. Then they're selling like the matchsticks. So there's all different color matchsticks, which I love my matchsticks. I have your basic like highlighting, contouring, um, concealing ones, but these are all like different colors and once again I think you're supposed to be able to use them like wherever you want which I just don't like the ambiguity of that. There's gold one, there's a red one, there's a kind of bluish icy one, hot pink, kind of a purpley one, a brown one, and I just think you're supposed to want to be able to use these wherever but you can get the dozen of them so there's 12 of them for $129 but they're mini ones, so they're not like the big ones. So it says you can get 12 mini shimmer sticks, five best sellers, and seven new shades for $129. I don't think it's worth it. Overall, I'm just not here for the Fenty winter collection. And if she's gonna go in that direction where she's kinda just making things that are like, you can use these wherever, lips, eyes, cheeks, whatever, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm sure that there's people here that do. And there's a place for it and there's an audience for it. It's just not me. Well, let me talk about one more thing before we finish up. It's the Carity Picante 
eyeshadow palette. I love Carity. My sister got me hooked on Carity, and I really like a couple of their eyeshadow palettes that they've come out with recently, and this is one of them. Beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palettes. Great quality, good formulations, and $19.91. So this one is the Picante. Like, is that, am I saying it right? Picante? Picante? So the Picante eyeshadow palette's gorgeous. It's cruelty-free. It's 21 shades. It'll be available November 1st, and if you order online, it'll ship by November 3rd. It's only $19.99 for 21 shades, and these shades are gorgeous. There's like oranges, berries, pinks, some purples, golds, yellows. It's so pretty. Like for fall, it's going to be amazing. And I know my sister did order it already, so I have to get on that. Like she pre ordered it because she loves it so much, so much. But um, yeah, I really do want that. That's definitely on my purchase list, not my pass list. What is on my pass list is this Pure Cosmetics Holiday, I don't know, the Grinch collection. Good enough to steal face palette and color changing balm set. So it's $42. It's got like this, I don't know, it looks like a, what you'd get candy in, like a heart shaped box. But in there, there's like these colors and none of them stand out to me as anything I'd want. And I don't like the way they're set up. I don't like how some of the circles are like bigger than the other circles. And it just feels like there's way too much space in the palette. And they're just, I don't like the way it looks. So right there, I'm not going to get it. It's like two really chunky shimmers and some finer shimmers. And it looks like some mattes, but I'm not here for it. And then there's a color changing lip gloss, I guess. I don't, it's supposed to be for the Grinch. I don't get it. I'm not into it. I'm not here for it. I'm going to pass on that. I don't even like that heart-shaped box it comes in like so weird what i do want to try though guys and like i said i know i feel like i'm completely switching everything up i always talk about huda beauty and you know um kylie cosmetics and my antihels in a negative way like i would not want to buy them but huda beauty did come out with a concealer that i really want to try it's 30 dollars and it's going to be available in 20 creamy high coverage shades ranging from fair to rich. Some people were saying the shade range wasn't good, like there wasn't a light enough color, and I was like looking at it, and I'm like, did anybody see this whipped cream color? Like it's pretty much the color of white. Like it's what you would think you would see if you saw like a piece of computer paper. To me, that's what it is. It doesn't get much lighter than that. And people are like, no, it's yellow, and I'm like, eh, shut up, it's fine. Everybody always wants to complain about shade range, especially these pale people who are like, that's not pale enough for me. I don't want to hear about the shade range, especially on a concealer, guys. A concealer. It's a concealer. It looks so cool, and, and people are saying $30 is a lot to pay. I don't think $30 is a lot to pay. To me, it's on par with a lot of the other like expensive concealers. Um, I use the Smashbox Studio Skin 24-Hour Concealer right now, and I'm pretty sure that's up there. It's like $26 or $28, bucks, so it's not any more like super expensive than any other concealer but people just like to bitch about Huda Beauty which I understand because I also like to complain about Huda Beauty because I don't usually like her stuff or what she puts out but I'm interested in this it comes with like an applicator it looks like metal and it's supposed to de-puff and sort of like I guess get rid of like your under eye bags which is cool 31% pure pigment like that's what I'm here for like i love a concealer with a good pigment that lasts for a long time and there's stuff in there to like soothe and protect your skin persian silk tree jericho rose extract green tea and caffeine which obviously we were hoping to depuff and it's called the overachiever concealer i'm gonna get it and i'll let you know what i think there's so much here that i just don't want there's so much here that i just think is stupid but we would be talking about it for a really long time. These holiday collections are straight stress me out. Oh, one more thing. What is up with this like MAC shiny pretty things holidays collection, like an advent calendar full of surprises? Has anybody heard of this or did they do it last year or did you get it? Like, is it is it legitimately worth it? Do you have to pay a lot and then you get like actual good things inside of the little doors or whatever like that's that's what I want to know if anybody's tried it or done it or knows about it just give me a little bit of an idea of what you think because I'm interested in it I it looks cool I like stuff like that like I love Christmas and I know I just said I love Halloween and I don't want to talk about Christmas but I also love Christmas, so I love Christmas, and I love surprises, and my mom used to have, like, a little advent calendar where we'd have to move the mouse, you know, from, like, day to day, and I was always so excited. I would wake up early so that I would be able to do it before my sister, 
even though she was smaller than me and I should have let her do it, but I was like, it's the worst. Love that stuff and like my kids love that stuff too. They love the little chocolate advent calendars with like the really cheap cardboard packaging and the really gross like cheap chocolate in there, but they just love it. So it looks like Morphe's coming out with a highlighter palette too. I just saw this on Trends Mood, it just popped up. It's called the 8S Stellar Impact for $25. So it to me, it clearly looks like they're trying to copy ABH. Um, I don't know if anybody else feels the same as me. Usually I like to read the comments and get a kind of temperature of if people feel the same as me, but I don't, um, I haven't read them yet because I just saw it. Somebody says it looks like a NYX highlight palette. Swatches are crusty, who cares about the shades? Canceled. Okay, so like, I think after the Jaclyn Hill debacle, Morphe kind of really looks bad right now. I've never purchased anything from Morphe, not even one of their brushes, just because I feel like uh, YouTubers and beauty gurus push Morphe and Sigma so hard. I don't want to support those companies. and I don't know why. It's just like this thing. I don't like things when they're shoved down my throat. I don't like things when I know that somebody's being paid to push and promote it. It just turns me off of it. So that's why I've never supported Morphe or Sigma. It's just my personal kind of hang up with that. Um, but this highlighter palette to me looks stupid. Once again, they're way too pigmented and bright for highlighters. I just, I'm over it. Like, I just want one good, like, icy white highlighter, and I want one good, like, peachy kind of golden highlighter, and I'm good with that. I don't need blue. I don't need pink. I don't need yellow or burgundy highlighters. The packaging's really cool, though. The packaging's nice. All right, so, guys, I'm going to go and... Uh, Finish the rest of my day. I'm making pumpkin spice lattes today from Real Pumpkin Puree. Maybe I'll tape it and show you. So if you want um, to see that, give me a thumbs up. Stay kind and stay beautiful. Bye. Ooh.